Hey guys, I finally reached um, 30 subscribers, and in honor of that, I have 30 questions here for you guys, um, from you guys, that I'm going to be answering for my third Q&A. I'm not going to be doing an in intro, because I don't, because it's New Year's Eve, I don't want to ruin um, spending time with your family to keep along, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, let's get right to it. Alright, so I'm, so I'm going to start out with my Instagram questions. I also posted on Instagram if some questions for this video. Um, and the first couple come come from Crazy Yo-Yo. Um, he asked, who is your favorite YouTuber? Um, I'm going to have to go with Chris Stuckman. I really like his movie reviews um, <clears throat> and his hilariosity reviews. Those are hilarious. Um, so, yeah. And then, best Blu-ray and why, P.S. Love your channel. Well, thank you for that. And, um, my best Blu-ray would have to be the Star Wars original trilogy. <clears throat> it, is, it does not look like it was made in the, in the 70s, in the 80s. It looks like a brand new movie that just came out, like Star Wars Force Awakens. The transfer quality was amazing. So, yeah. Um, best Blu-ray would have to be the Star Wars trilogy. And then, favorite actor, I have to go with Chris Pratt. Um, <clears throat> I really liked him in Jurassic World, and, as well as, uh, what else was he in? Oh yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, which is one of my favorite movies. And, he, I think his big break was with the Lego movie. That was kind of his first major role in a movie. And then there was also Parks and Recreation. Awesome show, you have to check that out. Um, so yeah, Crazy Yo-Yo, those are your answers, and hope you like them. Um, Alziri Panini asks, favorite Netflix original show and favorite show on Netflix? Um, my favorite Netflix original show would have to be Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Um, I've seen that about two times maybe. It's, it's a hilarious show about this girl who was stuck in a cave for like 20 years. It wasn't really a cave, but it was like, um, it was like, um, it was like an underground bunker, and she was stuck there for 20 years, and she finally gets up, and then decides, she finally, like, gets rescued by the SWAT team or whatever, and then decides to be rescued, I mean, not does and decides to be left in New York City with some money and no place to sleep, and, I don't know, it was just a really funny show of how she reacts to the world. It was hilarious. So, my favorite Netflix original would have to be Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. And my favorite sh mm, Sorry. My favorite show on Netflix would have to be, um... Parts and Recreation. Um... I'm, I'm re-watching the series again, second time. And it's still hilarious. I mean... So yeah. Uh, those are your answers. <clears throat> Alright, um, Andrew Nozell45 asks, best theater experience? Um, definitely Star Wars The Force Awakens. I don't remember any movie where I was that excited to see it. I mean, I went to go see it twice. Both times, the crowd, the theater was packed. Everyone was cheering. It was, it, it was a great experience, and to see that movie twice, it was amazing. Um, and then he also asked, most anticipated movie film of 2017, I believe Star Wars Episode 8 comes out, so I'm going to have to say Star Wars Episode 8. There are your answers, Andrew Nozell, 45. <clears throat> and uh, to, to um, sum up the Instagram questions, Lord Ollie Rules the World asks, why do you, not why do you like Inside Out so much? Um, if, you, if you have not seen my... Inside Out movie review, I gave that film an A+. I find nothing wrong with that movie, and I really enjoy that movie. Um, and I guess Lord Ali rules the world, you don't like my opinion. I like it because it's an emotional yeah. film. It's a great film. It was animated very well, and it, def it played with kids' imaginations. And, uh, I don't know. Like, I know that you, um, worry about, like, story problems. But for me, I don't worry about those. I worry about <coughs> sorry, um, how well they made the movie and how well um, 
the characters were were um, characterized and everything about that. I don't really worry about little plot details in the story. Um, so yeah, I like it so much because it's a good one, I guess. Alright, so that sums up the Instagram questions. Let's head on over to the YouTube questions. Um, Hecrass1 asks, Yo, Film Fonatis, what's your least favorite genre? Uh, I think he means genre. And my least favorite genre would have to be romantic comedies. I'm not a big fan of those, and I don't want to watch those. Um, Movie Maniac writes, what film makes you inspired to make films? Um, oh gosh, um... I think the one film that I remember that made me started to like Steven Spielberg and movies was probably The Adventures of Tintin. Um, I liked that movie so much. Um, I went back a second time to watch it, and I liked it even more, and I, like, bought the video game, and I bought the books, and I bought the... I bought... Yeah, I bought some stuff for the movie, but I don't have the movie, surprisingly. Um, I will have to, though. But that's the one film that I remember that basically started my liking yeah. of Steven Spielberg, and then that leading into me liking movies. So, yeah, the film would have to be The Adventures of Tintin. Um, what's your other hobbies other than movies? Um, I just playing with, playing outside. Um, I usually, after school, I usually go outside and play with the neighbor kids. Um, Monday through Friday, I guess. I know it's crazy, but I have, I live in a cul-de-sac, and there, there are, um, a bunch of little neighbor kids, and I guess they look up to me not to brag or anything, but, yeah, I'd have to say, playing outside, I also like cooking, um, other than, yeah, um, I don't know, I can make macaroni and cheese, uh, waffles, I can make jello, uh, yeah, no, just give me the recipe and I can probably make it. Um, so yeah, I like cooking and playing outside. Alright, thank you Movie Maniacs for your questions. Um, Advo Cinema writes, hey film, film fanatic, and, your, and my question is, what is your favorite movie of all time and why do you like it so much? <laughs> Some of you probably don't know this already, but I've mentioned it in my other videos, it has to be Back to the Future. Um, <clears throat> it's just a fun film to watch. It's, um, it has a good story plot, and, like, after every movie, it leaves with a cliffhanger to go to episode, to part two, and if I was watching that in the theater and have to wait two or three years for the next part, I would be so mad, but now, since I own the original trilogy, I can watch it, uh, whenever I want, oh, sometimes, there you go, um, I can watch it whenever I want, and that's really great, and... It's just a fun movie. I like Marty McFly, <clears throat> Michael J. Fox as well. Um, and I also like the DeLorean. It's really cool. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm if my voice is a little weird. I I have a cold, so um so yeah, thank you, Advo Cinema, for your question. Um Ashlyn Cross writes, Hello film furniture. Have you seen any films by Ingmar Bergman or The Godfather? I don't believe I've seen any films by Ingmar Bergen, Bergman, I think that's how you say it. And I have not seen The Godfather, um, so yeah, thank you. Oh, there's more to it. Um, the Thunderbirds, Airbuds, and Land Before Time series are classics. You would make me so overjoyed, wow, if you made reviews for them. I would shoo my dad. Well, thank you. Um, I will see if I can get to that. And the last couple questions come from film, uh, no, not film fanatic, um, Carter Movie Fellow. He asks, what is your favorite classically hand-drawn animated movie, and what is your favorite CGI animated movie? My favorite classically hand-drawn movie would have to be Fantasia from 19, I believe it came out in 1940, I'm not sure. Um, but that's just a good film, I enjoy it. I'll have to review it sometime. Um, <clears throat> and what is your favorite CGI animated movie? Um, <clears throat> I'd have to say Jurassic Park. Um, I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs are CGI. I, I hope they are. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that that is a uh, CGI movie, so, yeah. And I'm in my pajamas, because I don't care, alright? And at least I'm not in my under underwear, I'm just saying. Sorry, I said that. Um, alright. Who is the best film composer who is not John Williams? Um, most people would go straight to Hans Zimmer. I would not. He's absolutely my third favorite. Um, John Williams is my first I'd have to say Randy Newman. He writes all the scores for the Pixar movies, and I find his scores to be very good. Uh, especially the Inside Out one. Um, there's one other. Um, I also like the Monsters University one. <coughs> Excuse me. What is the best action scene from any movie? Um, I'm trying to think my favorite movie. Um, I'd have to say the Joseph Gordon fight scene in Inception, where the walls are turning, and he's, like, upside down, and he's, like, Spider-Man. That's really cool. Um, <clears throat> and the last question of this video, if you could see any, any movie in the world that you are not able to see, what would it be? Um, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, I don't watch R-rated movies, um, or NC-17 movies, in fact. Um, if I could see any movie in the world that I would want to, ooh, gosh, uh, I honestly don't know. <coughs> I'd want to watch all of them. Um, <coughs> wow, this is a good question. Um... I'd have to say T2 Judgment Day. Um, uh, voice break. Um, yeah, so Terminator 2 Judgment Day would probably have to be the best movie. So, boom. Thank you guys for the Q&A questions, um, and thank you to everybody who has stayed hey. here for 30 subscribers. I know it's not much, but to me it is. Um... I'm slowly gaining, so, um, thank you guys, and as always, stay tuned for more from Film Fanatic, and I'm not gonna leave you off of there, you thought I would, but not. <clears throat> um, sorry for the racket, um, please put more questions down below for my fourth q and I don't know when I'm doing that, but maybe when I have 40 questions, I don't know. So, um, stay tuned for more from Film Fanatic. Let's go.